Recently, David's catalog of restoration work included a beautiful French violin bow by the maker Charles Louis Bazin. Now, this bow came to us not having had care for decades and in a state of dilapidated condition. The various parts on the frog of the bow, such as the abalone eyes and slide, were actually not present. So here you see David hand cutting a piece of an abalone shell into the shape of a slide for the bow. This will have to be prepared for it to fit properly. This is a long and tedious process. But after all, a bow maker is called an architeer for a reason. Cutting the material and preparing the material and fitting the material to the slide, which you see here, took a lot of time. I did not get footage of the process on the slide, but right here you'll see the process that David is going through to fit the eyes into the frog of the bow. Here, David is using his digital caliper so he can measure out and gauge just the right amount of shell that he will need. Here, David is sanding down the thick shell section to a thinner sized piece. The sequence of sanding and measuring and then sanding again and measuring again continues for quite some time in the process before being able to move on to the next step, which you see here, which is the filing careful filing and rounding of the sharp square edges into a smooth round piece. That is one teeny tiny piece of shell that came from a much larger original piece. Fine handmade bows such as this Louis Bazin violin bow deservingly receive handmade and customized replacement pieces in the restoration process. The skill and craftsmanship of a bow maker architeer involves many facets, including what could be described as jewelry work, as you can see here in this video. There are far fewer bow makers in the world than there are violin makers, and that's for a good reason. It takes a very different personality to be able to have the patience and perseverance through the work that is needed to make and to repair and maintain a beautiful bow. And many times, the highly skilled efforts that go into making and restoring or even rehairing a bow often go unfortunately underappreciated, not noticed, and not understood. Fresh new rehair, a new leather grip, a new slide, and two new eyes, and all cleaned up, this bow is ready to be played again.